I easily created these AI images of myself. Without spending a lot of money, it was very quick and simple and anybody could do this. So in just five steps, I'm gonna show you exactly how to train AI on your face, create unlimited images of yourself. And by the end, I'm gonna give you a custom prompt GPT that automatically makes better images for you. So let's begin with step number one, go to replicate.com because this is the platform we'll be using to both train your face model and generate images. Just click on sign in and sign in with a GitHub account. If you don't have that, just create that now. Now that you're on the inside, you need to set up billing. It's not going to be expensive, but it will cost around $2 to train an AI model on your face and then five cents to generate every image after that. So just go to the account settings and click on manage billing. Now you set up your profile. We're gonna go to step number two, train an AI model on your face. Just go to the AI toolkit. I left a link to it down in the description. And this is because when we enter all of these values, it will start training a model on your face that we can use in a later stage. So first, we're gonna click on the destination where we select a model. Here, if you don't have a model, just click on create new model. And I recommend you call it something like your name, Laura. So I'll do AI Andy Laura, and I'll keep this to public. And then we need to upload images of our face. The most important part here is that we have a minimum of 12 images that their file names must be called a photo of and T-O-K. This is the trigger keyword that we will use in a later stage. So how this looks like for me is a photo of AI Andy and I had literally uploaded 30 different images and then I deleted half of it because one thing that is very important is that you only train it on your best photos. If you look really weird in some of the photos or say for example, this photo of me where I have a lot of hair going out on the right side, that will actually show up on the most so I recommend just using the best photos of yourself and then just select all of them, right click and compress so they turn into a zip file. Now just drag that zip file right into the images and this step is done. For the next model name, we can keep that on default, but then we need to head to step number three, make a hugging face account. The reason why we need this is a hugging face token. And on the last step of repo ID, we're also gonna enter a model ID. So just go to huggingface.co. I left the link in the description down below and just click on the sign up button. Now that you're on the inside, all we're gonna do is click on the top right, click on settings. And on the left side, we're gonna click on access token. Now click on create new token and give it a bunch of access. You don't have to give it billing access or discussions and posts. Then make a token name. I'm gonna keep everything the same like this and click on create token. Now just copy this token ID back into the HF token on our face training. If you're following me so far, that's amazing. The only thing left we have to do inside of hugging face is that we need to create a model. So just go to the right side click on new model. And this is where we're gonna keep everything the same. Once again, this is easier for all the steps and to be organized and make sure that this is set to public because Replicate will need to get access to this in a minute and then just click on create model. You'll end up on this page and just click on this copy icon, go back again to the training, go all the way to the end and enter the hugging face repo ID. This will be your account name plus the model name and all the other values you see here can be left to default. And now once you've done this, it will start training and it will take, at least for me, it took about 30 minutes for it to actually create that training. And you can see this if you click on the dashboard and then click on trainings, there will be a log that basically goes from 0% to 100%. And once it's done and you know everything was successful, is you get the message the training was successful. Now, for the best part, let's go to step number four, generate an image of your face. Just go to this flux-dev-laura that I'll leave in the description and now head down to the HF Laura. 
I'll never use Google search again after I learned this. Look, if I search AI tools into Google, I see one sponsor, two sponsors, four sponsors. Literally the first page is full of sponsors. And that's when I realized that Google is not incentivized to give you the best answer the quickest. They're incentivized by money. So instead you can go to search.brave.com. We can do the exact same search AI tools and there are no ads. They even have a good answer with AI in comparison with Google. Look, I click on it and you get a great list of AI tools. But not only that, you can continue your search by doing these follow up questions like AI tools for writers and content creators, beautiful list of tools, and you have all the source links from nine different articles. This feels like how Google should be. And the greatest benefit, Brave is completely secure. They don't track any of your search. So you keep your privacy. I'm going to go to my search engine settings, add Brave and make it my default search engine. Step number four, generate an image of of your face. Just go to this flux-dev-lora that I'll leave in the description. And now head down to the HF Lora. This is where we're going to paste the exact same thing we did in the previous step with the hugging face name and the model that we trained. Try to set your Lora scale to one because it will be better of your face. And then we can start prompting using the keyword that we created in the photos name. Start off with AI Andy, which is my trigger keyword. And for some reason, it creates me as a woman sometimes. So I usually put man after it. And then driving a Porsche 911 in the Italian Alp, I'll do aspect ratio 16 by 9. Here you can create the number of outputs. And this will take a little bit longer time if you want to keep it on four. Number of inference steps, I like to keep at 28. But if you keep it really low, it will go faster, but it will very blurry. There are also hidden inputs, like if you want the output format of a JPEG, and also output quality to 100. I like to do that. And now just click on run. You'll see that it's gonna start ramping up and creating our images. And just like that, we got images, but none of them really with my face. And that's why I recommend we actually go to step number five, make a custom prompting GPT. And the reason we want to do that is because instead of writing a mega prompt that gives us better results, we're going to ask ChatGPT to do it instead. So just click on explore GPTs and in the top right, click on create. But I've actually created my own that you can copy in the link in the description down below. And if you use this link, just go to the top left, click on it and click on edit GPT. Or maybe for you, you have to duplicate the GPT and then you end up in the configure settings. Basically, I ask it to make the prompt more visually appealing using prompt engineering principles. And if you want to change this, just change this word AI Andy to your trigger keyword and this here to your trigger keyword. And now if I copy paste the exact same prompt back into this, I'm also going to make sure that I specify that I want to have my face be the focus by adding close up of face enter, I get three prompts and I like this one the most. So I'll copy it, paste it into the prompt and Bob's your uncle, you can download it by just clicking on it right clicking save image as or you can download it by clicking here but it's going to be a zip file of all the four images but let me show you some more i'm just going to use the prompt enhancer i can say ai andy as iron man and once the first one is done i can copy paste it i'm going to do three outputs this time and by the way if you want to do multiple generations at once you can just open a new link copy the other one make sure you check the laura and generate in this tab as well <laughs> there you go ai and he has Iron Man. You know I'm behind that mask. Can you see it? <laughs> Let me prompt with this mask open. There you have it. <laughs> this is in the second tab. I'll copy paste a more prompt. There we go. I'm so impressed by the results. And here as well is the second prompt. Let's do one more like me flying on a dragon. Copy paste and copy paste. <laughs> here are the first results looking <laughs> nasty as hell. And here is the second result. Yo boy be breakdancing. Now if you wonder where all these images are saved, 
You can always click on dashboard predictions and here are all the tests that you did. So if I open this one, for example, it's probably going to be my last one that I did. And if I do some all the way down, you can see some other generations I tried before. So now you know how to make AI images of your face. If you like this video, I highly recommend you go in the link in the description so I can help you use AI tools to become more productive. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.